Because of the whole lockdown situation, due to the whole coronavirus thing that's happening right now, I've just been stuck in the house, pretty bored, when I found this comment from a channel called Freemason Today. Seeing that the avatar was a picture of Roy Rogers, I felt intrigued enough to read the comment and click the link, which took me to this weird video. Now at first I thought, maybe I came down with the flu, maybe I'm having a fever dream. You know, this was a pretty strange video to be honest with you. Uh-oh, boys. Steve's going into lockdown tomorrow. Better stock up on your adrenochrome. Oh, adrenochrome? Mr. Podesta's gonna need a big supply. And that's not even mentioning keeping the synagogue stock. That's right, adrenochrome. Designer drug of choice of the global elite. Beloved by celebrities, athletes, and politicians alike. <laughs> Distilled right from the organs of sacrificed children, this product is made only for the biggest adrenaline junkies. The kind with nothing to lose but their soul. Oh, baby. Hey, I want to drink the blood of virgins and stay young forever. Where do I get my adrenochrome? Adrenochrome can be found at your local Masonic Lodge or the pharmacy section of your local Walmart. I remember in the video where I initially found my buddy Gian, he was talking about this chemical called adrenochrome. I honestly had never heard of it before until I saw that video. He seemed to think it was really important, so the fact that somebody sent me this video, linking it as one of the big secrets of the Freemasons, definitely got my attention. But the big question I have is who is this guy? Who's behind the Freemason Today account? And why did they use Roy Roger's picture as their avatar? Another detail I found really compelling is that this is an unlisted video, with very little views. almost as if they made this video just for me. Hey Derek, this is your buddy Gian. Let me know when you get this voicemail, man. I just found a video of you online and it looks like you're being implicated in a lot of shit. I just texted you the link so you can check it out. See ya. Hey there fellow truth seekers, the information I'm about to expose today will change the way that you see this man. For several years now, he's been in our faces, hiding the truth in plain sight. However, as true patriots, we owe it to ourselves to stop him before it gets too late. Here you can see him with a black eye on the left side of his face. What other group of people like to sport a black eye you might ask? None other than the elite themselves the globalists, the new world order. In this photo, it looks like he took a little vacation to Ellicott City, Maryland. A few short days later, a devastating flood ripped through the town. All signs point to an inside job. He's seen here in this photograph with members of his band who call themselves Handler. A pretty telling name if you ask me. Looks like he and his buddies are having themselves a nice pizza party. But what's this? The band logo looks awfully familiar. Bingo. Comet Ping Pong Pizza. Clearly, they're paying an homage to the Pizzagate headquarters itself. My fellow patriots and truth seekers, I ask us to come together and put a stop to this again before it's much too late. Hey, so you got my message? Yeah, man, that link you sent me, um, that video is bogus, bro. The way it was presented, though, I thought the information in the video was pretty convincing. Look, I really hope you don't think that was in any way accurate. Derek, you don't have to dance around it, man. I'm not upset. Wait, what? Yeah, I think it's totally cool. I just want a piece, that's all. You know I'm on the lookout for some chrome, bro. I'm, I'm serious, dude. I don't know who made that video or where it came from, where they came up with that stuff. It's not true. That's pretty bizarre, then. Yeah, and that's not the only bizarre thing that happened today, actually. This YouTube channel called Freemason Today, they left me a comment earlier on episode one of Go Dark, and it was like a link to some commercial or something for Adrenochrome. When we get off this chat, I'm going to have to send it to you, man. Please do, man. I'm curious to see what it's about. Does it reveal where to get it? Not really. Um, it was super weird, bro. Like, I really don't know what to make of this. Do you have any input at all? I think maybe you're on a list somewhere. You might be a targeted individual. Targeted individual? Or a TI for short. I gotta let you go, though. I'm getting another call coming through. Shoot me that link and we'll talk soon. See ya.
During my conversation with Gian, he mentioned I might be what's called a targeted individual. Since I didn't know what that meant, I decided to take a look online and find out what the definition is. According to this website, targetedjustice.com, a targeted individual is someone that has been selected by the deep state, usually FBI, DHS, or CIA, to unwillingly participate in an experimental government torture program. The program apparently was created by the CIA's MK Ultra project. It's designed to break down the individual and neutralize the person, using psychological, physical, and emotional stress. Now, typically the main targets for such a program would be scientists, political activists, whistleblowers, and others, so I don't really see how I fit that category, but I'm pretty scared nonetheless. Hopefully it's just someone trolling me and not the actual CIA or some related agency targeting me, but I guess we'll find out more as things progress. On that note, that concludes today's episode. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments, let me know what you think about all this, and also let me know what you might want to see next. As it stands right now, I do still want to become a Freemason, but I am getting a little worried. Some words of encouragement might help me along the way.